Hi, I'm Mark Shearer, one of the co-founders of Project Dirt, and we're here in the Tesla showroom in Knightsbridge, and I'm here with Don, who's the UK sales and marketing director. Jack, Henry, and I have just taken one of these cars out for a test drive, and we've giggled like schoolgirls for the last kind of 10 minutes. They're absolutely awesome. So we've grabbed Don to um, have a quick word about them and to get a bit of an insight. Could you just tell us a bit of a background about the company, what you're, what you're looking to achieve with the cars? And sure. I mean, the first and most important thing about Tesla is that it's parked next to you. It's a, it's a real product in the real world yeah. with real people, and that's the main thing we set up to do, to actually introduce something that was feasible and realistic to consumers, yeah. and also you know, practical and sexy and fun and all the good things. I know it's not 60 in 3.7 seconds, correct, yes. so it leaves a Ferrari standing at the lights. Yeah. We couldn't find a Ferrari to race out no, there. You but, usually uh, find a few around here. It's driven by battery. Yep. Um, do you want to give us a bit of a rundown on the range and how you charge them and so on? Sure. The important thing about the Roadster is that it has a realistic usable range. Yep. Um, 211 miles on Fantastic. a full charge. Uh, importantly too, that full charge in the UK will cost you about £3.60. Yep. If you put £3.60 in that Ferrari, you probably wouldn't make it out of the showroom. <laughs> if you take uh, the average grounds per kilo, kilowatt um, of electricity yeah. rated. Our car, um, and you have to remember it's a sports car, high performance car, it's still about 60 grams per kilometer. So it's a lot lower than even a Prius or a very, very clean diesel car. That's obviously very important and it'll become more and more important over the next five to 10 years. One yeah. thing for sure is petrol isn't gonna get cheaper. In yeah. fact, everyone predicts it's gonna get a lot more expensive. Yeah. Um, and if we don't start doing stuff now, if we don't start producing cars like the Roadster now, um, in five to ten years' time, when you realise you can't afford to run your car anymore, there won't be an alternative. Yep. It stands for a lot, and yeah. that's what's lovely about the car. And you can, you can see people uh, looking at it and, and pointing. And what's lovely is that whirring sound. It's accelerate. Yeah. It's great. It's the car that you thought you'd be driving at this point when yes. you were younger. It's the car I, I grew up thinking I'd be driving by this point. Yeah, no, And absolutely. I remember the first time I started really driving an electric car regularly. It was like, yes, this is what I thought I'd be driving now. This yeah. is right. This is the way it should be. It's, we shouldn't be doing the same thing we've been doing for 100 years. Yeah. Well, to drive it was absolutely beautiful. And it feels like a, it feels like a car as well. Yeah, which absolutely. Really important. Yeah. But thanks so much for your time. My pleasure. I'm absolutely sold. I wish, as I say, in the, in the words of Little Britain, I want that one. <laughs> Except, but, uh, but no, thank you very much. Pleasure. And uh, we'll you know, keep in touch with you guys over the years. Fantastic.